Hi gamers, in this video I will show you how to build these shell holes. Alright, so to build my shell holes for base material I use this uh, thin veneer plywood. So it is actually a plywood. It's strong, flexible, and it's easy. You can cut this with your utility knife and you can just sand it down or file it. I like this better than the MDF. I find the MDF uh, hard to work with. I can't cut it very easily. I actually just cut this out of a big piece with a, like I say, utility knife. So this will be our base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot glue here, and I'm going to build up my, if you can see I've drawn out some circles here for, for where the actual craters I'm going to have. This is going to be some overlapping craters. And um, so I'm just going to start building these up with um, your hot glue gun here. And the reason I like hot glue is because this material, it's uh, you got to allow for a little bit of flexibility. And I'm, if I used anything else, uh, I'm just concerned about the flexibility. So I'm just going to stick with the glue. It has uh, inherently it is flexible, and it'll it'll stay on there and won't give me any grief. So I'm going to start building that up, and we'll have a look at how that looks. All right, so I've got enough glue on the piece. Just make sure there's nothing sticking up. You can run your gun over it, iron it down. You don't want any jagged bits, right? Don't worry about holes, imperfections, because we're going to put paint, and ultimately we'll be putting our texture over it. So I'm happy with this. Um, I like to see the contour in the in the shell holes. I don't like to see uh, coming up to a point. I don't find that realistic. So I actually like to see the different uh, thicknesses, uh, kind of lumps and bumps into it. It is a shell hole on a battlefield. There's vehicles, there's a lot of activity going on. Uh, these will actually become, for gameplay, the larger ones can become a hull down or a modified position to hit, hit a vehicle. The smaller ones, say these are say like mortar holes, something like that, smaller caliber hit. Uh, that could be, uh, that could give tra uh, terrain modifier to infantry. So I'm liking the look of this. I'm going to now move on to the next step, which should be painting, and then we'll get some art texture onto it. All right, now that I've got uh, paint onto the piece here, you want enough, uh, you want a good coverage, right? But you don't want, uh, you don't want it running everywhere. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to cover this with uh, dirt. So this is my base texture right here. So I'm just going to put a pile of dirt onto this and uh, let it press it in really well and then we'll get this onto that and then we're gonna let it dry and this will be our base we'll add our other flocking and stuff later but we'll get some uh, this dirt is just basically dirt out of my yard it's nothing special uh, there's also obviously different shades of dirt depending on your locality right there I've got some blacker humus type dirt or whatever but this is just a general I guess brownish kind of dirt so press that on there give it good coverage and make sure like I say make sure you do press it in because you do have some extra paint right so shake it out a bit and just want to give it a quick brush take off any of the bigger see the bigger pieces 
don't really need those guys. We can always add a little bit more dirt later. But yeah, just get it down so there's not uh, big chunks sticking up sort of thing. Like that, right? You don't want just straight dirt. So I'll work that a bit. And it actually works well just to scrub it in the dirt, so. See, we're getting a nice coverage there. And we're going to let that dry. And that will be our, our base um, base texture. So this is what I'm saying about don't worry about the, all the holes and stuff. <laughs> like, uh, as you can see, right, this is uh, the paint and the uh, the dirt obviously fill in all, those all in. And, uh, yeah, so it's not a big issue. So this is looking pretty good guys, just make sure there's not uh, too much paint building up under here like a, kind of a gummed up kind of thing. So just run your fingers over it lightly, just make sure everything feels relatively clean and uh, looks okay. There's not a big deposit there that's kind of lurking around. Okay, now that we got the the paint and the dirt on here and it's dried out, I actually hit it with the hair dryer bit to help it out. I'm going to put a bit of water on there, just a quick spritz, not too much, just to get a little bit damp here because we're going to we're going to get our diluted glue onto this. So you don't need a lot. Just enough to give it a little bit of moisture. So now I got some dilute here, Elmer's. I'm using Elmer's again here. So this is about uh, three to four, four parts to one glue to water. And I'm gonna lay that on there, move it around. You don't wanna swamp the piece, you just want enough that there's glue everywhere. You, want the, you don't want it running all over the place on you. So water to dilute the glue and spray the piece is just water with a drop of liquid dish soap in it. Just work that around here, make sure everything's nicely covered. And you want to actually put, um, you do want to put the glue into everything, including the low points, because what this is going to do also, it's going to wash the dirt off all your little, all your little small particles of rocks and stuff like that. And that'll actually add more detail to your piece. You might think, oh, I don't, I don't want to put glue into the uh, small uh, or into the bottom areas, but you actually, this actually will scrub off the dirt. So you'll get rid of just that kind of all brown kind of look. You'll see later once we dry it out, you'll actually get uh, coloration of the of the actual little small bits of sand or whatever's in the dirt. So yes, you have to put it into the low points. Also, we will just not be putting any um, flocking in there. And hopefully not anyway. So there you go. You don't want any big pools anywhere, but you want to definitely make sure you got uh, you got your glue everywhere. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And it, this brush is pretty fine, right? You don't want to be really scrubbing this. You just want to lay it in there. So this, you can see this brush, brush very pliable, very fine tip, sort of a loose type brush just to flow that material in there, your glue in there. Okay, so that looks good. So now I got some, uh, it depends what you want to use, right? I like this tea here. It's like a Chinese tea. Um, so as you can see, it's got all different types of coloration into it. So I'm going to get some of that on there. And of course, just try to avoid um, putting it in the, uh, if you do get it down into the actual uh, shell crater holes, you can, you can just scrub it out later. It's not a big, not a big showstopper. So yeah, just go around, pile it on there. Because this will blend it into your, of course, it just has to lay on top of um, your table. So you want it to blend in more or less, right? So there's that guy. And then, um, so you just got your straight grass, fine grass kind of coloration. I'll put a little of that on there. 
And uh, I don't like a uniform. Um, I know to some people they, they just put uniform one color, maybe a little bit of a mix. I like uh, coloration and I like texture. And that's where the tea, the tea will actually have some texture into it too, right? This stuff's pretty fine. So this kind of sifts down into the, in between the little cracks and crevices kind of thing. And so I just put it around the outer side of your piece. Alright. And then finally, I'm going to put a little bit of this stuff. This is soil. I think it's 649 or something like that. That's quite dark. You don't need a lot of this. So I'll just put a smidgen of that around. And then not a lot of not a lot of texture. Like that. A bit on the high points. Alright. So I'm liking that. So I'm going to stick with that. Now what I'm going to do is just hit it with a little little spritz of water here. Very little. Because I want to soak that material a bit. Give it a bit more moisture. So it uh, will actually set into your dilute that you've got down there. So then it'll actually, the dilute glue will grab that. So not too much. You don't want to have water flooding off the piece. And that'll actually wick your, uh, that'll actually wash your uh, fine particulate. All your, That could wash your flocking away. But you want enough that it's saturated. I.e. that it's wet. You don't want saturated, so you want wet. So just got to watch that, right? It's kind of a fine line. So I'm thinking that that's going to be okay. I'm going to now dry this off, so I'm going to wick a bit of this water. See, this is a bit much here, right? And that's our low point, so I can wick that out. And that'll help with our uh, drying process. You don't need... It's just, it's just a bit of Kleenex, right? And that shows you how kind of a fine line it is between enough and too much. So just dab that up. It'll dab up the uh, excess there. And then I'm going to hit with the, my trusty hair dryer and dry this out. Okay, as a last step, as far as textures go, I like to add a little charcoal. You're going to add the charcoal in here. So just put a pinch. And this is actually a charcoal. So it is actually a powder. It's not a pigment, although I suppose that would work. But this is actually ground up charcoal. So I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to work that around. So get a fine, a little bit of a fine brush, and just scrub it in. Pick it up. So I like to do this. I, I find it shows that yeah, there's it adds more depth to the uh, the piece, and uh, of course reflects the fact that it is actually yes a, a shell hole, right? So you can. Work that around however much you like. Of course, more is darker, less is not as dark. Let's work that in there. And see, it picks up some of the highlights too, right? So, so I just work that around. We're going to seal this in with some spray because this won't actually stay in, in place either, right? Because it is a powder. It tends to uh, shed off, but we'll, that'll be our last step. You can give it a slight, just like that, to uh, knock any of the big pieces off, of course. But, uh, yeah. So. Okay. All right. I'm making a look at that. Cool. Little hairs and stuff. All right, it's going to seal that up and we'll be done. Okay, as a last step, I like to seal, like I say, I like to seal the charcoal in. And uh, that actually, I find it adds more depth to the piece. So I'm just going to give it a quick shot here with this Verithane. It's a satin or semi-gloss. You don't want to hit it with too much. You can always put more later, right? That same old story, but I just give it a little shot. And that'll add some depth to the piece here. As well as lock in... Uh, our charcoal.
All right, I'm gonna let that dry and we'll see how it looks. All right, there's our completed piece all ready for the gaming table.